What is up, guys? Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into it. Uh, the AFL starting tomorrow. Uh, Western Bulldogs versus Melbourne, the grand final rematch. Fantasy getting underway. Some team, uh, or the team list for that game has been released, but more importantly, there's been some rookie giveaways, some debut giveaways. My final team here. Pending, um, like, obviously, if some of my rookies are not named in. I'll be making those changes just to my rookies, but this is my team. Let's get straight into it. Um, starting at the top at my D1, I've got Lockie Whitfield. I was arm and about Lockie Whitfield, um, but I'm, I think he's just underpriced. And uh, even though I think Swans are going to be one of the better teams, maybe a bit of a smoky team this season, my opinion, um, I have to go with Whitfield. I was contemplating like between Whitfield and Crisp. Uh, oh no, sorry, Crisp. Yeah, Crisp. Sorry, uh, from Collingwood, and uh, it'll be a throw up. But for me, we know the numbers Lockie Whitfield can put up. Uh, it'll be interesting game. GWS versus Sydney Swan. So let's see how that goes. Jaden Short. I'm a Richmond fan. No Hooli in locked and loaded. Justin Mac uh, McInerney, uh, he, this one is like a personal favorite of mine. I've spoken about him before. We had some conversations about, you know, SCG being a smaller ground or more of a narrow ground. Um, I'm still in for McInerney. I think he's still going to make money. He's going to average in, in between 80 to 95 for me. And I think he's worth it. I've got a Driscoll on the bench, um, the 190K for Fremantle. Straight into George Hewitt, Moneymaker, Carlton. Joshua Gibkus, uh, named in the Richmond team for the Carlton match. I think he'll be easily getting in between 50 to 60 points. Another Moneymaker for you there. And I just love when I know someone's playing, they're straight in. I don't have to worry about it with the rolling lockout. Boom, in, done. Sam Skinner, I've got in as my D6 uh, with Garrett. I'm not even going to say his last name. Garrett. Um in there as well. I had like Sicily and stuff in before and I was, I was, I was like kind of too heavy on the defensive side, on the defenders. And I didn't like that uh, because if someone like Tom Stewart is going to be, is going to come out and be like, I just wanted movement. I just wanted movement and having like Sicily, Wayne Mulera, um, all these like low price and mid price players. I was putting too much into the, to the, to my defenders, but they're my defenders. Um, I hope you enjoy that. Straight into my mids. You're going to see some changes here, boys. Uh, the mill, the took, Toucan Sam, he's in. He's in. Reason why um, I put him at captain as well is because of the injury to uh, Tim Kelly. Uh, I just think... <sighs> Even though his price tag, I was just weighing it up and I'm like, man, if this guy comes out and and just absolutely is putting out crazy numbers, it's going to be possibly like, hey, after the second, third week, I need to get him. I need to get Tuke Miller. And if you're on that train already and you've got him as captain, I'm, I'm expecting a big number from him on the first round. It could be a catch me if you can situation. So I'm in. Jack McRae, we all know, against Melbourne, he uh, should have a good night. These are my two uh, real uber premiums uh, for my midfields. Uh, I've, I've decided to go very heavy on the midfield. Uh, Patrick Cripps, I still, I just think he's fit, ready to go. Carlton are going to be going to be a better team this year. They always, every season, seem to getting a touch better here and there. I think it's a big season for Cripps as well. Um, and at 686, under 700K, he's in for me. Lockie Neal, we shall see how he goes. Uh, we know what numbers he's capable of. I think he's underpriced. I still think he's going to make money. And uh, Brisbane have said they want to have a, a better start to the season. So let's see if that happens. Jason Horn Francis on the bench, a 290K. -er. Um, he's going to be a cash generator for me. And you're mostly thinking, man, a 290K -er on the bench, what's coming up? Well, we're going heavy in the mids, boys. We've got Caleb Sarong at uh, my M5. Uh, basically, I just think he's he's primed. Spots there. Freeman, he's going to be playing. Hopefully healthy. 
and a cash maker. Matt Crouch, uh, I'm expecting big things there. I'm just expecting money making. I wish he was a bit lower in price, but he's not. Um, but I'm still going to stick with him. And um, the reason why I took Sicily out was to balance it. I found more uh, more value getting a Josh Ward and like a mid-price Matt Rowell and Matt Crouch rather than having just a Sicily and a 190. So that's how I sort of weighted. I think Josh Ward's a great grab. Nick Dacos, we know uh, this guy's going to be a really good player for Collingwood and also he's going to be generating you some massive, massive cash. Matt Rowell, I think his preseason fitness was great. Uh, I think Gold Coast are going to have a good run on uh, the first round, uh, five rounds, and I think he's going to generate you some good money as well. Um, yeah, the only one I'm sort of worried about is Lockie Neal, but we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. I'm, I'm still set. Brody Grundy, Max on Sam Hayes, I'm set on the rucks. Don't really want to go into that too much. Uh, the Fords is where I've chosen to go a bit light. Um, I've got Dunkley at my uh, F1, Zach Butters at my F2. I've spoken about Zach Butters. And Zeri, pending team list, he will be in. I'm hoping he's named. I think he's going to be a great cash grab as well. Elijah Holland's on the bench. Also, as you can see here, back to the mids, Josh Ward and Horn Francis will be emergencies as well. Um, into Patrick McCartan, who's been named to play for the Sydney Swans. Again, I love hearing, you know, even pre-team lists like, yes, this, day, this rookie is debuting or this rookie is definitely playing. They just get in. It just makes it easier for me to have those 30 green ticks, them green lights ready to go. Joshua Rochelle and Hugo Ralph-Smith. If Hugo Ralph-Smith is named, uh, I'm definitely uh, having him as well. He'll put up some good numbers and uh, generate you some cash with Sam DeConning on the um, the bench. Scored 70 in his pre in the preseason um, game. And the, hopefully he just gets over 50 and uh, Bob's your uncle. Guys, that is it. Oh, sorry. And the utility, I've got Will Kelly. So my four emergencies are Will Kelly, Defender Ford status in the utility, Sam DeConning, Josh Ward, uh, Jason Horn, Francis, uh, and we'll see. But yeah, we'll see what the team lists say. Enjoy the week. Enjoy the first round back of AFL. Let me know your teams. I'd love to see what you guys have as your team lists, your thoughts, comments, discussion. Please, if you enjoyed the content, subscribe. Um, we'll be running through the games and uh, all of that good stuff, uh, the points, etc. after the first round. I'll see you then. Good luck. Make sure to enjoy your footy and earn them points, boys. Earn them points. Catch gotcha. ya.